hello, this is Jeff Gadiosi, and you're on MisplacedStraws.com, where music comes to life. And my guest today is just one of the true unique talents in music. He's done a little bit of everything, but he has a new EP out now with Devin Allman called Rollers, and it serves as sort of a soundtrack to this pretty incredible journey that these two friends are about to embark on. Here to talk about all of it, please welcome Donovan Frankenrider. Welcome, Donovan. Hey, thanks, man. How are you? I'm doing good. But now, before we get into Rollers and the tour, let's start off with you and Devin. I mean, you guys have been friends for a long time. How did you meet? And is this the first time you worked on a full project together? Yeah, this is the first time we worked on a project together. I, I met him probably six years ago at Americana Fest. And then for the last couple of years, I've been touring with him at the end of the year, doing his Almond Family Revival uh, shows. And... um Last year on the last one, he came to me at the beginning of the tour and said, hey, I know you're turning 50. I'm 50. Would you ever want to do this tour? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, let's go do all 50 states. But we have to do it in 49 days in a row to beat a world record. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I said, yeah, you know, I said, yeah, let's go for it. So we're I'm actually at his house right now. We're rehearsing today. Mm -hmm. We leave tomorrow on the plane and we start Saturday. We do two shows in two different states. And uh and then we do one show a day for the next 48 days after that. But, um, you know, while we were on that tour, the Allman Family Revival Tour, and I agreed to do this tour with him, I uh, I said we should have some music to play together. So we ended up writing some songs on that tour. And Luther Dickinson was on that tour playing guitar as well. And so he's like, let me produce it. So he produced it and it just kind of all worked out. You know, we just kind of all, it all just kind of came together. Well, and that's kind of where I wanted to go. I mean, Rollers is a pretty thematic record. All the songs are really about traveling and what it is you guys are about to do. Did the idea for the tour come first and then the songs were kind of written around that theme or were these kind of ideas that you'd been, you know, full? Yeah, there were definitely, the, 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 the music came second. You know, we had this idea to do a tour and then I said, hey, we got to have some music to play together. If we can make it happen, let's try. So we... In the process of writing these songs, definitely lyrically, it was all about getting out there and trying to see as much of your community, your city, your state, or the world that you can, you know? Sometimes you don't have to travel too far to see something different or, um, you know, just encourage people to kind of just get out there and uh, and see how beautiful, you know, um, different parts of America are. And uh, I don't know, it's always fun and inspiring to travel. So sometimes people forget that. And, it, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to cost too much you can just get in your car and go on a little road trip and it just uh it's a beautiful thing you know so we're kind of just talking about that with all the music you know getting out there and, and seeing it all well that's the thing when people listen to this ep i mean rollers has fans that has stuff that fans of both of you guys will love you know, i mean you both sing on all of the vocal tracks i mean they're just some great grooves some really good guitar work Calling All You Writers is the perfect opening track for this entire project. I mean, it, it's this whole EP is like you're inviting the listeners to take this journey with you, which is really cool. I mean, are you sort of relying on the songs and, and the reaction from the fans to kind of help you get in the headspace to do 50 states in 49 days? Uh, you know, I think collectively more so than that it's just the 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 band you know like we Devin's bringing his drummer I'm bringing my bass player and we're joining two bands together to make one and playing one set of music together every night and I think that's what's going to like carry us through you know we hope the fans enjoy it and they love it just as much as us um just as much as us you know playing it but I I, I think that's what's really key is that we really enjoy this group of songs that we that we are pulling together Jesus, sorry. That we're pulling together for the... Uh, <laughs> this reminded me that I have a Zoom with you today. <laughs> uh, just, um, you know, it's just playing these songs and like, hopefully, you know, this is like a one-time thing, you know, we're going to go and we're going to attempt to break a world record. And so um, anybody who comes out to see a show is definitely going to be a part of history, you know, and and, they're, and helping us get through um, trying to help, you know, break this record. And for the fans, I mean, what could somebody coming to this show expect? I mean, I assume you guys are going to be doing most of Rollers, but, you know, it's an EP, a handful of songs. How are you going to fill out the rest of the set? Look, ask Devin. Oh, he's all <laughs> pretty in the middle. Uh, you know, we're definitely doing all the songs off of Rollers, if, you know, most nights. 
And then we're picking like three songs from Devin's catalog, three from mine. And and the band is really great, man. Like uh, Devin's drummer, my bass player. Then we have this guy, David Gomez, playing percussion and sax. This guy, Jackson Stokes, who's like playing all the different sort of uh, different guitar parts and candy and up stuff. And then we have amazing openers like Jackson Stokes is opening every night, as well as I think every week we have a new opener and they're just incredible openers. So, um, you know, they will always come up and jam with us if they want to every night as well. We'd love to have them sit in. So it's going to be a great show. You know, we're doing a 75 minute set every night as well, because we're doing 50 in a row. So this isn't going to be like some three hour yeah. all star <laughs> jam. It's going to be like, Hey, here's fucking a group of songs we're going to play. And then we're off to the next, uh, you know, off to the next city or state, I should say state. And, and you have some great openers with you. Um, was it tough to get an opener and, and sort of convince them to do this journey with you? No, because they're just doing a week at a time. So um, it's like no big deal. You know, every week is a new opener. We wanted to kind of freshen it up for us. And I didn't really want to, I mean, Devin and I didn't want to ask somebody, hey, you want to open up 50 nights in a row? I think they've been like, what the fuck? But um, it's cool. It's going to be really fresh and great and cool for us to see new people every week. And, uh, you know, we're excited, man. It's, um, you know, Devin and I have done a lot of shows in a row, but those tours usually consist of us like being on the East coast and we'll do like, Oh, six gigs in Florida, three in the Carolinas, one, you know, two in Jersey, one, uh, four or five in New York area. Like this is going to be a little crazy going from state to state and then flying to Alaska, flying to Hawaii and then back to LA to finish at a big festival outside of LA on the beach called beach life ranch festival. So I don't know. It's, we're going to cover a lot of ground, man. I mean, everybody's fucking got their part from the bus driver to the agents to the fucking road manager. I mean, everybody's just like, kind of like, you know, we're ready. I mean, we're ready. We're all packed and ready to go, but it's going to be a hell of a tour. Yeah. And you know, we talked about the idea of traveling and just kind of getting out there and seeing the country and seeing places that you may not have been before. And you guys are playing a bunch of places where you may never have been before. Are there certain places you're kind of looking forward to, or are there certain stretches of travel? You mentioned the flights up to Alaska and Hawaii, where you're like, yeah, that's going to be rough doing a show after that. Uh, you know, I only say the two flights are the ones that scare me the most, because once we get on a plane, it's kind of out of our control. If the bus breaks down, Devin and I will grab acoustics and fly to the next fucking gig. But if we're in Alaska and they're like, dude, there ain't no flights leaving Alaska for two days. Sorry, we're going to be fucked. You know, I don't know how we're going to get out of there um and that will just be sort of the you know whatever it's like a part of uh, attempting to break a record um you know i'm looking forward to going to uh, upstate new york montauk area um yeah. because we're going to go surf i i think honolulu will be cool we'll go float in the water in hawaii um you know we're bringing a couple of film guys we're bringing a film crew and we're filming this whole entire thing and we're going to edit it into like minute long updated videos every day so people can follow along and see kind of what we did because we are going to try to collectively do something in every state we're going to go try to do whatever the coolest restaurant is whatever the greatest or coolest artifact is uh maybe there's a famous record store a famous guitar shop um i, I don't know you know um we want to take people while we're, we're being filmed almost kind of make them feel like they're the seventh member of the band they're coming along with us the guy's going to film from really different angles on stage he'll never It'll never be from the perspective of like a uh, of a fan out in the audience. It's going to be like, hey, you're going to be on the bus. You're going to be backstage. You're going to be everywhere that normally people don't see. So we want to bring them along for the ride and they can see how it all happens, you know? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, in, you know, the in a week on the 12th of August, you'll be in my hometown here in Hartford, Connecticut. Be yes. glad to take you guys to the Mark Twain Museum, which is right next to where what i'm talking uh, about that's what we're gonna do yeah where, right. where you guys Perfect. are playing <laughs> nice that'd be cool that's what we need to do mark twain museum we're going yep it's actually his house where when he lived in Hartford, connecticut yeah. mark twain museum yeah one guy's all stoked <laughs> Randy, randy's gonna go there and read all his fucking he probably already read all his books <laughs> yeah, but right. i was gonna ask you on the dot on documenting the tour so you're gonna do the minute videos at the end of it all will you put something bigger together like a yeah we're gonna we're gonna at the end of it our goal is to have eight episodes for a television series and in every episode will be like seven states mm -hmm. so it'll be like i don't know i always try to tell people the analogy is like anthony bourdain with a guitar and a surfboard <laughs> we're gonna go fucking see it all and when we can we're gonna play music and we're gonna surf and we're gonna go and 
fucking try to eat at the best restaurants and go to the most wild guitar shops and just i don't know film it and just bring people along for the journey and show them a piece of sort of uh america maybe that they haven't seen and all the different states and also take them on a journey of like letting them be a part of like being on the tour bus being backstage what happens you know i don't know we don't know what can happen but anything could happen you know and it's like if somebody self can bust we're going to get that on film and everybody can watch it <laughs> <laughs> It, it, you guys have both been at this for quite a while. You've done big tours. You've played a lot of shows in a row. But is there anything that you need to do physically or mentally to get yourself in this? Because it, it's not just travel, but it's being on every night. It's, you know, playing and working the crowd every night without a break. Is there anything you need to do physically or mentally to get I ready? mean, a, a plane's going to be the easiest part of the night. That's going to be great. That only lasts an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, it's just the traveling part. But, you know, you just got to get you just got to get enough sleep. I feel like if you get eight hours of sleep. None of us drink. Nobody's partying. It's just like we're just having fun. You know, we're trying to just kind of cruise and get around. But that's when you start to kind of get wore out and get sick is if you don't sleep. So, I think just if you sleep and then I have a little, uh, I do a little thing called Wim Hof breathing. I don't know if you, any of your uh, listeners ever do that, but you should look that guy up. It's called Wim Hof. He is uh, an incredible instructor for a breathing technique that I do every morning. It just takes 11 minutes and it really changes your whole perspective. If you're ever feeling tired, sick, if you ever had anxiety, uh, whatever, you know, it's, you do this breathing technique and it's, fucking life-changing but anyway that's cool i do that and we try to get out and walk around you know move around i think you just got to keep moving and like you know you either use it or you lose it sort of thing and i i always live like in the moment i don't ever look at this as like oh where am i going to be day 49 it's like where am i going to be fucking tomorrow okay great let's focus on that and that's it one day at a time and you know we'll see what happens i think that's when you can get a little overwhelmed if you start to look at the tour dates and you're like holy shit like there is no days off and we are just going to go, go, go. But it's, it's interesting. Sometimes when you tour and you, you're working every single day, you kind of wake up like four weeks into it and go, fuck, I can't believe there's a month that's already gone by. Yeah. Kind of neat. It's when you do like three shows and then you have four days off and then four gigs and three days off. And like, you know, those are the tours to me that are like, God damn, it feels like I've been out of for a year. But when you're just working every day and going, um, that's what I'm hoping. I fucking wake up seven weeks from now. And I'm like, holy shit, that went by quick. <laughs> now, did you and Devin sort of have a hand in plotting the tour? I mean, did you guys say, okay, we want to get that two show day out early? I mean, and we wanted we wanted a couple of those fucking two show days because we wanted a little fucking breathing room, but <laughs> they only gave us one of those, and it's on the very first day, yeah. and then the rest of the tour is one day at a time, but. Uh, you know, we just kind of, Devin and I just kind of told our agents what we were kind of hoping for, but, you know, they those are the ones that kind of spun this whole thing together, which was sort of a magic trick, because it's not easy booking 50 shows in a row. Like, if you end up in, like, Montana on a Monday, you know, who the fuck's coming out on a Monday? You know, like, it's like sort of, you got to, like, place yourself in the right spot at the right time, and then also try to have some fucking anchors on Friday and Saturday nights so this tour can kind of all make sense. Yeah. I'm going to be done right now. I'll go with you. Are you coming back? It's full. Oh, he's full. All right. <laughs> well, we're loading, we're loading up the we're loading up the tour bus. It's just fucking. It's uh, making sure we have everything. Well, because again, the the tour starts on August fifth. Um, we've been yeah, spending, August fifth. We've been spending some time here with Donovan Frankenrider. Uh, he and Devin Allman. The EP is called Rollers. It, it's a great record. If you do nothing else, definitely check out the EP. But they will certainly be coming to your state because they're playing all of them over the next 49 days. Um, I will see you guys in a week or so in Hartford. Looking forward to it. Yeah, come by and see us and we'll go to the Mark Twain Museum. We'll go over there and we'll film it. And we'll check that out. You got it. Sounds right, good, man. guys. Best of luck. Um, we'll, we'll see you in a week and see how things start off. And, and I can't wait to follow this along the whole way. Thanks awesome, for taking bro. the time to talk about it. Thank you for thank you for having us, man. We're gonna go see it all. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye.